30,000 Boeing workers are now on strike. On Thursday, International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers at Boeing voted by 95% to reject a new contract negotiated by union leadership and Boeing management, and by 96% to authorize a strike. According to Business Insider, these workers represent about 20% of the company's employees. According to USA Today, the proposed contract had included a 25% wage increase over four years. Workers had demanded 40%, as well as other benefits the company was unwilling to provide, including an annual bonus. IAM President John Holden told CNN last month that the dispute is really about what has happened to our members by the leadership of the company for close to 20 years. Here's Holden speaking on Thursday. While there were many important things that were in this offer, it didn't make up, it didn't bridge the gap for 16 years from 2008 and going through two extensions and the threats of job loss, uh, you know, stagnated wages, cost shift on health care, and many other issues. Boeing has, of course, recently been embroiled in scandals over safety concerns. Provisioner Natalie Anderson connected those issues to management's relationship with its employees. It just feels like they're trying to put a little bit of pressure on us. And that's just not the way you want to act towards your employees if you really want us to work for you and build a quality plane. Business Insider quoted a Boeing statement issued Friday saying, we remain committed to resetting our relationship with our employees and the union, and we are ready to get back to the table to reach a new agreement.